The big stoneflies get a lot of press and have ardent followers that aim to time the explosion of the hatch to the best conditions in order to catch the biggest, easiest trout. Good luck with that. The truth is that timing the stonefly hatch is so subject to weather and water conditions that you could drive Colorado through western Canada doing nothing but chasing reports and not have a single good day. Or you could time it to hit every famous stonefly event head on. Let's understand what's unfolding, why, and when. Various stoneflies hatch from late winter through mid-fall. The hatch is more an emergence as the nymphs first migrate from faster, deeper, broken rock throughout the river toward the stream's edge. As the known emergence season draws near, anglers will start to flip large flat rock for signs that things are soon to unfold. If the migration is occurring, you'll see dozens of nymphs in mere inches to a foot of depth. While the adults may not have emerged yet, this is your clue to nymph shallow edges of runs and riffles, as well as the heads of pools, as trout will come shallow to gorge on staging nymphs. Dedicated regular fly fishers hone in at this point. While enjoying some solid nymphing, they keep their eyes to the shore, studying the change in numbers of nymphal casings along shore clung to rocks and shrubs. Quite often the hatch will start with a trickle before one morning you show up to a favorite run, look at the shoreline rock and see hundreds of nymphal casings up and down the run. It's about to get serious. It's at this stage the shallow water nymphing is off the charts. It's just passing its peak. That's also when things get quiet. Sometimes it leaves us dumbfounded. We see the nymphal casings. In fact, we look in the shoreline bush or flip rocks along the shoreline we're likely to see adult stoneflies mating. It's not limited to a one-on-one -on -one boogie. Sex in the stonefly world is serious business and they certainly get busy. It's after all this getting busy that we're subject to weather influence. Sexed out dopey males will crawl aimlessly or fly sluggishly and get knocked to the river's edge and get swept away. You'll find trout lined up in shallow shoreline seams rising periodically to suck in these lethargic stones. It's deceptive because even in the midst of a mayfly hatch, you'll see a water swelling rise unlike the sips to mayflies. But it's the females that are carrying egg sacs that we want to see. In warm weather, these females clumsily fly from the shoreline bush back to the water to tap their abdomens on the water to shake that egg sac off. Ultimately, these females will tire and land on the water and skitter about. And that's where the excitement erupts. Trout, especially the big ones, lose all shame and crash the surface. Time it right and you'll witness this all day long. But notice I said warm weather begets flying females and active male stoneflies. But spring through early summer weather is hardly predictable and rarely offers perpetual sunny hot weather. Let's look at three common weather pattern scenarios to understand what is likely to happen during the stonefly emergence window. This is about the worst case scenario, but it does happen. Cold wet weather raises water levels, decreases water visibility, decreases water and air temperature, and essentially grounds stoneflies. Their bodies are heat activated, and if there's no heat, they crawl. They'll literally wait until the last opportunity to egg lay and crawl along the shore and try to tap the egg sac off. Males are lethargic as well and trout aren't excited by a food source that is scarce. These are the big letdown years when this weather pattern unfolds perpetually. The most unpredictable fishing happens when this kind of forecast comes up. There's nothing to suggest the stoneflies will or won't fly. They don't have to, there's no big impetus. But each day a smattering of stoneflies will fly from about noon to 4 p.m. A few fish will take notice. A few will rise, many won't, and while a pleasant day on the water with okay weather, it's the kind of day that leaves you happy but wanting. Ah, here's the money forecast, one that usually happens every year, especially with the early season squall of stonefly across the west. You know it's the emergent season, the nymphal casings are showing up, you've seen the adults mating, a few adults have been on the water, but the weather and water is cool. It's not happening, but you know there's thousands of stoneflies in the shoreline bush and rock. You Google the weather forecast and you see this. The beauty is that the next couple of days are perfect mayfly hatch weather. Then there's a day off the water to say hi to the family. But those two days of hot sunny weather is pure magic. 
All the stoneflies that have been mating are waiting for exactly that. We've hit that kind of day every year for a few decades, and the only way to describe it is to relate it to the thousands of little paratroopers falling out of the sky to be met by huge, hungry, crazed trout. 